Increasingly, modern science pursues powers traditionally reserved for the Almighty. But those who encroach upon the province of the gods realize too late that the price for entrance is destruction. exists to make human life easier and more pleasurable. But once such forces intrude upon the most intimate parts of our lives, will we then forfeit our very soul? There is an old proverb that says, be careful what you wish for, for it might come true. And if your wish is for immortality, it is something you will have to live with for a very long time. What if you were to wake up to a different world tomorrow? A world of invaders? Would you raise your voice with the aliens in a chant of remembrance and regret, bidding farewell to a vanished world? Or would you fight against those who might ultimately help us? For one man, the battle against death is over. But for the rest of us, the war rages on. At what point does the cost of survival become too high a price for us to pay? The wars of evolution are fought over generations. But sometimes, only the fittest survive battles which last the briefest moments. A hundred years from now, a new race may look back and say, this little girl's stand was a turning point. Time is a river winding steadily through the landscape of tomorrow. There are those who would steal a glimpse around the next bend and those who would fight the current. But the wisest are those who turn their eyes from the waters and seek out a fellow traveler to share in the journey. If you were offered the chance to communicate with another person's mind, would you choose to do it, knowing that in return you would have to expose your own deepest and most intimate thoughts? From the dawn of time, people have believed that angels walk among us. Some believe that demons are also in our midst. But who's to say exactly what form either will take? They could be your spouse, your boss at work, even the person sitting with you right now. Our world has been mapped. The oceans charted, animals and plants named and indexed. Or so we believe. But there are still places grown-ups forget they've been, and it is children who remind us that there are creatures that lurk in the dark and under the bed. Within the human soul reside mysteries dark and deep about our frailties, our fears, our shame. Today, or a hundred years from now, the darkest matter will still lie in the human heart. A second chance. But redemption follows not a change of body, but a change of heart. In the darkest of hours, in the greatest of battles, we must never forget who or what we are.
The urge to hunt and kill, the need to mate and multiply, these are our most primitive human drives, but they pale in comparison to the most powerful human drive of all, the need for love. The true measure of a hero is when a man lays down his life with the knowledge that those he saves will never know. Over millions of years, man has become the very paragon of animals. But we must take care not to alter what nature has taken so long to forge, or risk being burned by the very fires of creation. There is no sound, no voice, no cry in all the world that can be heard until someone listens. Empathy, sacrifice, love. These qualities are not confined to walls of flesh and blood, but are found within the deepest, best parts of man's soul, no matter where that soul resides. What lies beyond? For each of us, the answer awaits at the end of life's journey. Until then, we must live with the ghosts that dwell not in some musty basement, but within the recesses of the human soul. People have long feared invasion by forces from other worlds. If that horror comes to pass, our leaders will stand as our first line of defense. Unless, of course, our leaders themselves are the invaders. Sleep soundly in the knowledge that the dawn will come. Rest assured that our leaders are watching over us. But beware, for it is only their vigilance that stands between our restful slumber and the end of the world.